What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at a sweet way that allows you to get unlimited umbral engrams and better still, altered element as well. So if you're struggling for the materials as well as the engrams, then this will be the video for you. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content. Be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, since the launch of Season of Arrivals, we've been scratching our heads at the best way to go about getting Umbral Engrams. These are great for getting loot this season and also focusing in on specific loot if you're chasing certain weapons and armor. Now, we started the season by looking at Nightfalls as potentially one of the best ways to farm this Engram. And because of you guys, we diverted our attention to the Nightmare Hunts as well. But further still, there is an even easier way that allows you to get as many Umbral Engrams as you like with very little effort whatsoever. And once again, a massive shout out to you all. I look through every single comment in my comment sections and it's because of you guys that we're looking at this particular farm today. And as you can see, alongside the loads of engrams, we have 31, including those in our postmaster. We have plenty of altered element, more than enough to focus all the engrams that I've got in my infantry here. Now, the best way to go about this is via AFK farming. This was introduced many seasons back for various events through Destiny 2's life cycle, and it returns as part of a great way of getting Umbral Engrams and better still, the material we need to focus in on them. Now, in order to AFK farm, you're going to need to lower your light level as low as possible, ideally below 750 power. You can equip old weapons from previous seasons, even a Halloween mask if you've got that from a previous event. And you can pull a class item from your collections, which is only 21 in power. And in combination of all those things should bring your power level right down, ready for AFK farming. Now, once you've got all your gear equipped, you need to head over to the European dead zone and onto the south side of the map. The forges appear here on the bottom left hand side and you simply need to spawn in. Now being under 750 power means we're going to be matchmaking other guardians that have the same idea in mind and we aren't going to be affecting other people's play sessions. Now, if you're on PC, you can just leave your PC running even overnight or even whilst you're at work and you'll come back to a mass amount of engrams. If you're on console, you want to plug in your controller and make sure you turn off any power saving options. Anything that might mean your console needs to switch off if it's idle for long periods of time. Now, a six to seven hour AFK session should grind you around 30 umbral engrams and more than enough altered element to focus all of these. Now, once you've got your engrams, you want to head over to the Prismatic Recaster. This is on the left side by the Drifter over in the Tower Annex. And it's only the armor engrams that we want to focus. These have a much higher chance of dropping as a level 2 powerful reward, which can grant you a plus 4 to your power level. Now, it's really important that you only focus and decrypt one engram at a time. This allows the power increases to take effect individually and will mean that any future engrams have a chance to drop an even higher power level than they already display. Now whilst we'll be using the umbral engrams to focus on armor only it's important that we also bring up our weapons alongside those and we can do this by using some of the vendors which have zero power drops and recently these have been Ashamir over on Io and Zavala over in the tower. All you need to do is either hand in materials or tokens and when they drop a weapon, this should drop at your current power level, which should be higher than your currently equipped weapons. Now, once you've managed to get weapons in each slot, this should allow you to creep your power level a little bit further and increase the power level potential of any Umbral Engrams that you still have in your Postmaster. Now, from here, we simply need to head back to the Postmaster, grab 10 more Umbral Engrams and rinse and repeat that process, performing a loop as a way of increasing our power level. Now, as we mentioned earlier in the video, a six to seven hour AFK session will grant you a roughly 31 engrams and the relevant materials you need to focus in on those. Now, for every batch of 30 engrams I was handing in, I was increasing my power level roughly between eight and 10 each time. And if you can perform this multiple times per day, then you can increase your power level exponentially above what you should be able to based on the milestones and pinnacle drops that are currently accessible in the game. So there we have it guys, that is the insane AFK farm that allows you to get unlimited Umbral Engrams alongside the altered element material you need to focus in on that armor piece to boost your power level towards the seasonal cap. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.